Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, tomorrow night, Thursday, 8 o'clock Eastern Time on NFL Network, we will see the first day of the NFL Draft. Who will the Eagles pick at number 20? Or will they draft up to number 2 to get Marcus Mariota? No one knows. The only person who knows is Chip motherfucking Kelly. What is going on, Eagles? What's well, another video today. We're talking Eagles draft, bro. We're talking Eagles draft. And I thought I'd change the intro up a little bit. I, I always say something, then I say my little intro thing, and then I go into the video. So I thought that that one was an interesting one. I don't know. I got my Eagles draft hat today. Got the skyline on the brim uh, with the shiny logo. That's a very nice logo. Um, white New Era, gold NFL on the back. And I see I don't normally wear fitted hats. Um, but these are the ones that the players wear on stage, so I thought it would be pretty cool to have one. Uh, they had snapbacks that were like the draft day hats, but the players don't wear them, so I didn't want one of them. They were like the ones that the moms and the dads are wearing, and I'm like, I'm not a mom or a dad. <laughs> so I wanted to get the player one, and I did. And I think it's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm talking Eagles draft, right? So tomorrow we will find out whether or not the Do the Deal campaign is going to come true, right? We're going to find out if Marcus Mariota will be our quarterback for the next 10-plus years because um, I think he can be a quarterback, franchise quarterback, for the next 10-plus years. Um, today, we heard some interesting information. Michael Kendricks is on the trade block. Brandon Boykins on the trade block. And, of course, Evan Mathis is on the trade block. And there could be more people on the trade block. Honestly, nobody's safe. Um, Michael Kendricks could probably get shopped out for a second. Boykin maybe a third. Mathis, would I want to see Mathis go maybe to the Saints for uh, a Maybe to the Saints and like a third round pick f and, uh, for Kenny Vaccaro. Um, that would be nice. He can reunite with Malcolm Jenkins, and that's a that's a nasty safety combination. You don't even have to worry about drafting one if you get Kenny Vaccaro. Um, then our Wolf can play backup. Um, let's see. If if Kendricks goes for a second, that pick's definitely going to be used to get Mariota. Um, if Boykin goes for a third, that's definitely going to be used to get Mariota. Right. So if we can use. Next year's 20, 2016 first rounder, number 20, Bradford, a second and a third rounder. I think that's enough to move up. That's a lot of picks and a lot of weapons and ammo. Um, you might even get Fletcher Cox in that deal. But they picked up the fifth-year option, so I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, I think since they did pick up the fifth-year option, I think he stays. You know, a lot of people said that um, that wouldn't be... That, that wouldn't be the case if he get picked up their fifth-year option um, that he could still get Dell. I don't think so. I think he stays now, so that's good um, anyway. Um, what else, man? So a lot of people are saying Browns offered the 19th and 12th for the second, which isn't enough. It's not enough to move up. Um, even if they added in their 2016 first, that's not enough to move up. Um, it could also be that Mariota goes number one, right? So we're not going to see a trade for number two or number three if if Mariota goes number one, because he very well could go number one. I still think Winston goes number one. Winston's the better quarterback. Uh, he played more of an NFL-type scheme at, at FSU. Marcus Mariota, if he doesn't get drafted by the Eagles, he pretty much has a, a very large learning curve on any other team. Um, he could be brewed as a, as a backup for a couple years, but I think he can be a starting quarterback right away on the Eagles, right away. He can start over Sanchez, 100%. Um, simply for the fact that he's one of the best dual-threat qu quarterbacks in the league. Immediately. Immediately. Uh, you, you could throw Andrew Luck ahead of him, probably. Andrew Luck's definitely a dual-threat quarterback. Russell Wilson. But I'd say he's top five uh, dual-threat quarterback. I don't know who else I'd put in front of him, but definitely Wilson and, and Luck would go ahead of him. RG3 doesn't. I don't really know. Not a lot of other guys can run and throw very well. I could be missing somebody. But, um, hey, man, uh, I think I think we can do the deal. I, I'm still pretty confident that it gets done, right? Chip Kelly literally had the craziest offseason that I've witnessed in, in my entire life. Um, any other year has not been nearly as crazy as this shit. This, this, he's pulled some serious shit. Um, but everybody's pissed that, that Kendrick's is on the trading block and, and that Boykin's on the trading block. Look. Kendricks had a decent 2014 season, a decent 2013 season. He was injured for, what, six games or something like that? Like, we, we can... <laughs> why do you think they got Kiko and extended D'Amico, man? 
That's why they did that shit. D'Amico still got gas in the tank, and Kiko is, I'm pretty sure he's younger than Michael Kendricks. Um, he's on the last year of his rookie deal, deal too, though. So, I mean, we're probably going to end up having to pay him. But we won't have to pay Kiko as much as we have to pay Michael Kendricks. Um, I think Cox is due to make like eight, eight mil in 2016. Uh, this is still the final year of his rookie deal, though. Um, what else, man? Like, Boykin, he didn't really have a great 2014 year, man. Like, he's too short, right? Like, great. Yo, he's a great player, right? He plays well in the slot. Um, yo, that's why we got Walter Thurmond to play the slot. Uh, Byron Jones. I, I hope Byron Jones, man, my, my Twitter thing right now is uh, Byron Jones to Philly. Because, honestly, if we don't get Mariota, I, I want to see Byron Jones in the first. Um, a guy like... Philip Dorsett, or um, who's the other one? Uh, Rashad Green, or who's that other guy I was thinking of today? Oh, I can't remember his name. Um, then I'd like to see Adrian Amos in the third. Uh, you know, I, I receiver in the second. Man, we got to get a receiver in the second round. It's the best value you can get for him. You can get you can get a lineman later down the line. Um, who probably won't start immediately, but could start. I think an Oregon player gets drafted this year, though, uh, whether it be Jake Fisher or Ifo Ekpre Um I don't know. Oregon player is going to get drafted this year. Oregon player got drafted last year. Uh, so, yeah, it'll happen, man. It'll happen. Um, but, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to be doing uh, – that, that's basically my predictions for tomorrow. I'm going to be doing a recap of day one tomorrow night after the Eagles pick. Uh, whether it be a 20 or 22 or wherever, they might trade back, you know? They might trade up a little bit to get a receiver. Like, Chip Kelly last year wanted to pick up Odell, Odell Beckham Jr. And imagine if he could have. If he had full control and we had Odell Beckham Jr. right now, man, and we were going for Marcus Mariota this year, like Marcus Mariota throwing to Odell Beckham Jr. and Jordan Matthews and Josh Huff, man, like, that'd be crazy. Uh, he's got full control. Chip Kelly do whatever the hell he wants, and I think he will. Most likely uh, get Mariota. So, yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comments. Uh, follow me on Twitter. I'm going to be talking about the, the draft for the next three, four days anyway. Um, it's been a good day. It's been a good day. Uh, I mean, honest, honestly, I wouldn't be upset to see Kendricks or, or Boykin ship tomorrow. It's fine by me. Or Mathis. Like, I love Mathis, man. Mathis is my favorite of the three. Um, he's a great player. He's one of the best guards in the league, and he's 33. Like, he's an old guy, but he's he's he plays really really well, man. He's great. I would, I would not like to see him shipped out of all three of them, but if he helps us get Marcus Mariota, so be it. I, I take a franchise QB. I value a franchise QB over an offensive lineman, a, a, a linebacker, and a cornerback all day long. Those holes can be filled in free agency and uh, stuff like that. And if not, Sam Bradford can be the guy, you know? Uh, that's just my thoughts. Like I said, let me know what you think in the comments. Follow me on Twitter at the Joshy P. Subscribe if you want to hear more Eagles stuff. Uh, my name is Josh. I'll see you guys later. Deuces.